Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and I'm excited to share with you my tips on putting together a small conference room on a small budget. So let's get started. Okay, so for my new subscribers, I wanna say welcome, first of all, and then I wanna say that this is my office space. You know, I have a professional organizing business and we use our conference room all the time. It is such a key point for meetings, for working on projects, and for doing so many things, and even for gatherings. This is where we gather for luncheons and things like this. So, because this is such an important space, it was important for me to make sure that it functioned well. It's a small conference room, so I wanted it to fit our team, and I wanted it to feel comfortable. I wanted it to feel where you could really think out your things. So it's important to have some components, and so the basics. The basics are those core things that a conference room needs. One, the table, two, the chair. And so I got my table off Amazon for 300 bucks, if you have priced conference room tables, they get into the thousands. So to find one for three is amazing. It's actually a dining room table. So that's a tip is to look for something that is a dining room table. This has storage on the inside. So it's really an extra double duty there. So that works great. The chairs I got from at home, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the chairs, but I wanted them to be comfortable. These were under $100, so it worked perfectly. Sometimes if you're really on a budget, you can find them for about $50, $60 on Amazon. So definitely um, look out for that. But the key is to have enough chairs and enough space for all of your team and if you're going to be um, having other people come to your office to meet you know think about how you work and what you would really need now next is technology technology is important in a conference room because you are meeting and networking and working on projects and goals and things like that so you need those tools in the space that you're working in a monitor is key for us here and I made sure to get one and I adjusted it the height so that everyone sitting at the table could see and made sure that it was put on the wall that had no glare the podium I got off Amazon I painted it white it was black and it holds the laptop which is perfect along with I got this off Amazon and it's a speaker that allows us to conference in calls and it makes it so that everyone can comfortably talk and hear each other and lastly a clock you definitely want to put a clock in here so that you can kind of stay focused keep on the agenda keep on uh, time with things so making that visible is important so now let's address lighting because lighting is so key in a conference room because you are working on projects and things like that. But then also when we're doing luncheons, luncheons or events, I wanna be able to adjust the lighting. So that's why putting a dimmer on is a great tip along with having ambiance lighting in there. So I have the lamp on the side here uh, in the coffee station area so that we have a great combination in the conference room. So we have that task lighting along with the lighting for ambiance. So it really works out great. Now the next thing is the amenities. You want to put amenities in your conference room because this really adds a lot, especially when you're doing a lot of work in your conference room. So you want to put a little coffee station, a coffee area, tea area. This is great when you have clients and things come into your office. You're able to give them, um, you know, beverages and things like that. We keep it very simple. I have the T4 take cup teas out. I have the Keurig um, sitting here, and we have this small table that I had got from Home Goods, which is perfect for the space. It's not overwhelming, it's not too large. And honestly, the team gets their coffee in the office from our coffee station. So even if we're having a meeting for team meeting, they come here and get their coffee. This is typically for when we have clients or, or you know visitors and things like that. This is kind of the tea station. And then we have a candle out here. We usually light candles throughout the office when we get in. So it's just ambiance. So next, let's talk decor. As you can tell, my conference room is very simple. It's all white because I like for everyone to really feel refreshed, alert, be able to think. I don't want to put a lot of things on the wall so that we can stay focused and I want it to just feel good I want you to feel refreshed when you come in the conference room so that you can bring fresh ideas and and it really works and so I keep very just neutral curtains in here linen very clean and simple we do have boards in other offices and I thought about putting one in the conference room so I may put a glass board on that back wall there I'm not sure yet I put a simple plant in the center just to bring in a little green but it's not too tall to where everyone can still see each other when they're sitting there and so just simple things as far as decor is needed and then there's those meeting tools. So I make sure to incorporate those into the conference room, such as meeting agenda covers. And I love having these. These are just menu covers, friends, but they're great for putting in your meeting agenda and it, you can put extra note paper in for them to have something to write. And it's just really a fun and beautiful touch to your conference room. And then also pins. You may wanna sit pins out on the conference room table so that everyone has access um, to those there. 
And another thing that's great to put out is candy. You know, you can sit candy out when you get ready to start a meeting, and that way, you know, people can tend to stay more alert because if you're getting that sugar in your system. So just sending some simple candies out could be a nice touch to have on your conference room table. Again, we don't leave our candy out, but, you know, if we're having a meeting or if it's in the afternoon we're kind of tired, that's a good little touch to do. So this is my small conference room. This is how I put it together on a budget, and it's really something that using these five basic tips can really give you a space that is so efficient so productive and i was so excited to share these tips with you let me know in the comments which tip resonated with you the most i hope you all are doing great if you have any questions let me know friends also let me know what type of content would you like me to share on this channel i would love to know have a beautiful day my friends i will see you at the next video and this is nikki saying goodbye